Hi everybody, Scott Ballou here, and I just wanted to make this quick video about something that came to me, and I was like, well, you know, I've been mess experimenting around with Steam and home streaming, and I'm like, well, what can I try to stream to next, and what would be fun? And so I came up with the ridiculous ideas, what if you could, could you stream using your own computer, to your own computer using a virtual box, and uh, a distribution of Linux, and then Steam, and then use Steam and home streaming to stream from your own computer to your virtual computer. It's now running on your virtual PC. As you can see, if I'm using my capture software. I have a, a virtual box running Mint Linux. Or, um, this is the newest one based on Dubuane, uh, I think is what they say, or Debwin for Linux. I'm probably butchering the name. And so we're going to do that. And now this is not perfect. And there is not a real need that I can see for this at this point in time. It was just more of like, hey, can I do this? And in fact, you can do this, and it's quite good. Uh, things for VirtualBox, the way they need to be set up is you need to set it up so that it's a bridged connection between your network adapter, so it looks like they're on the same network, um, so that, that you have to set VirtualBox that. you Also, it is insanely CPU intensive. Not only is the computer rendering itself, but it's also generating a virtual computer and so it eats up a lot of CPU. So if you don't have a fairly beefy CPU, um, it does tend to slow games down. Um, but luckily, I have VirtualBox utilizing all of my virtual uh, cores. So it's utilizing the full processor, and this is. And so uh, especially on CPU-intensive games like Skyrim, which we're going to use as our test subject game today, um, it does does put a little burden on it. You're not, I'm not like running it like... Um, like 60 frames a second, it's like doing 17 to 20. But on Skyrim, it's just kind of slow. It's still run around and playable. And you also, because it's the same audio source, it will mute it. So I have to unmute it after launching the game, which is kind of good. So let's go ahead and launch it, and you can kind of see how it all works. So over here, we're already logged into my profile on Steam. And so what we do is we click Stream. And just like you would on any other Steam uh, in-home streaming app, and it'll bring it up. And since you're running on the same computer, it doesn't really capture that. I'll oh, steam error. Um, how it works. And then we're going to go ahead and capture this. And it said it should launch. It's going to launch. There it goes. Skyrim is launched. And over there, now on my capture side, you can see it. It's. Oh, wow. Look at that. Steam and home streaming. It's running in Linux Mint. And it's crazy. And yeah, it does work. So we're going to go ahead down here. At, but you can see there's no sound. So what we got to do is we got to. Alt-Tab, go back here, unmute it, audio, so you have audio, and then we got to go back into Skyrim, and then you have to hit Alt, Skyrim's on my thing, is a little buggy, you got to go back to Skyrim, and then twice, and now we have sound, we should have sound, unless it got muted or something, I don't know which, oh, that's right, the sound is now being outputted through HDMI because of my capture device, so you're hearing sound, I'm not hearing sound. Because I have it muted so that it doesn't reverb through my mic. So this is now have sound. So I will test that and see on my TV. Do I have sound? Yes, I can confirm we have sound. So as not to that. And it does create this like weird reverb and echo because, well, it's playing the sound through the primary computer, which we just unmuted, and the virtual machine. But it is it, uh, just kind of cool. It's more like a test of concept. Could you do it? And let's just run around Skyrim for a little bit here and see what we can do. It's just, uh, oops. <laughs> not perfect. I'm not going to lie. It's not like the ideal way to play Skyrim. I mean, I still don't see why you would want to do it. Uh, it's just more like, can you? Can a thing like a virtual... Could, what, could you stream down to something like a virtual machine? Can you have the same computer that's rendering the game also receive it and play it back? And yeah, it does. And so this is great for, I guess, for testing purposes. If you wanted to test out like a Linux distro, like, hey, how does what Steam and home streaming work with this? The drivers can have capabilities of, of it. And seems to. And, and more surprising, VirtualBox. I mean, it's a fairly, I mean, it's got, it's a pretty, for being a free virtual pro PC program, it is letting you do Steam and home streaming on it, which is very cool, I think, uh, for being a free program. And I haven't had any problems running Linux Mint, and so I could definitely take Linux Linux Mint, I know now, and I could load it up on my old laptop and be completely fine to do Steam and home streaming. It'll work. 
There's not like any special configurations or anything you need to do. So I was just more impressed that you could play a game which is so CPU intensive like Skyrim and stream it, do in-home streaming between the two. So it's it's kind of fun, just a interesting thing. Um, I don't know if it's capturing it on there So because if like, I hit F6, it won't show me my overlay. So and I am playing it on the host PC, the controls are, and it's just showing you guys on the client. What you're seeing is on the client side, but otherwise, it's it's still very interesting um, experiment. I just decided to run real quick, and I just thought I'd share it to you. Let's see. Let's talk to this girl. What's up? Or no, it's not a girl. I thought it was a girl, but <laughs> it's a guy elf. What do you got for sale? Yep. All right. So as you can see, it is uh, takes a little bit to respond, but that's just I think the computer uh, thinking. Like, see you, see trying to do it all. Like I said, not perfect, more just like, hey, you can do this. And it's kind of a little buggy, but not too bad. I'm more just impressed that you can. So thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, we'll go ahead and stop here recording. Go ahead and exit Skyrim. And close out the video. Just uh, something that uh, was interesting and sharing that you can do, and it's kind of fun. Well, uh... Thank you, everybody, for tuning in, and uh, have a good day out there. Take it easy, and if you like this video, like it. If you didn't like it, don't like it. If you want to leave a comment, that would be awesome, and saying, what would on earth possess you to do this? And it's just boredom and fun. Just like, more like, can I? Not so much that there is a need. So, anyways, take it easy out there.